Good day to you. It is Got a Ukulele Review Day. Uh, welcome back. This course, the summary review for the written review linked below. Do visit the website on the buttons here and think about supporting the Patreon. It does help me out. So this is the summary. For a first for this brand, never featured them before, and that's not through want of trying. I've reached out and reached out over the years, but the brand never come back and want to work. Um, so I bought this one in order to get it featured because it's a brand I actually like. And that brand is called Gretsch uh, Guitar Brand, and this is their G9110 uh, Mahogany Standard Concert scale ukulele uh, Gretsch founded in New York in uh, as it says on the headstock 1883 now more famous for uh, mainly making instruments in the Far East but they still have a, a set of line of really nice US guitars and they're owned by Fender now um, but there we are at least said about that the better I think so this is a Gretsch it's their entry level uh, part of their entry level range of ukuleles uh, because they call it their standard and that means it's um it comes in soprano as well and i think tenor this is the g9110 concert and it's uh, it's quite attractive looking because it's got that sort of old timey uh vintage look to it it's made of all laminate mahogany single pieces on the top and single piece on the slightly arched back two pieces on the sides and it's finished in this sort of rubbed stain which is sort of different colors in different places I think it's I think it's really attractive uh, and it's pretty well put together as well that satin finish is on the whole good a few finish marks here and there they're not huge uh, they're not terrible so they're not annoying me that much but um, they're there and it's um as I say attractive what I will say about it though is it's extremely thin extremely thin laminate this is what you want your laminate to be like this is this is good because Hey, it means it is an absolute drum. Um, nothing worse than thick plywood. This is not thick plywood. No other decoration, other and I suppose it doesn't need it with this antique look. The bridge plate is made of rosewood. That looks like a bone straight top saddle. It's a slotted uh, bridge style. It's too big. It doesn't need these extra side bits on it. Um, it looks too big. The only other decoration is what I think is a transfer around the sand hole. Looking inside, pretty neat and tidy, notched linings, uh, fairly delicate bracing, but quite a lot of glue around the uh, around the kerfing, um, which is a bit messy. Uh, but there we are. Up to the neck, this is mahogany. Really, really obvious joint here, and a, and a joint up at the headstock that you'd be hard-pressed to find. Um, it's too finished with this sort of satin and it's got the same sort of antique colouring on it which is rather attractive apart from this really dark heel. Um, it's an overly curved profile for me, it's just really round on the back and it's only just just 35mm uh, and under 27mm on G2A on the nut spacing which is too narrow for me even for a concert. Um, still, you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 uh, nickel silver frets, 13, 14, 15, 16 in total. A concert joined at the 12th is very traditional, very Martin, uh, and that's a rosewood fingerboard that's actually in really good condition. Uh, nice and even in colour, no marks with it, bit of end shaping there as well, another nod to the Martin style. Position dots at 5, 7, 10, double at the 12th, one at the 15th, and side position dots too so apart from the width everything else i like about that that neck it, they're really tidy no sharp edges at all beyond the bone nut um yes it's a crown shaped headstock but i really like it it's got a this curve to it on the on the sides is really really attractive um and that complete with the antique finishing and this gretsch logo it just i think it looks absolutely terrific on the back unbranded open gears with small black buttons i'm really annoyed you know i'm going to be really annoyed because i prefer friction pegs but there's another reason why i'm really annoyed these exact models used to come as did their sopranos with friction pegs gretsch have switched them to gears because they've been listening to people who say friction pegs are bad friction pegs aren't bad just put decent friction pegs on that's a real shame come on i wish they'd at least offer us a friction peg version um, because I just don't think they look as nice as the version of this with the friction pegs. There we are. The strings on this are Aquila. You get a really basic Gretsch uh, branded 
gig bag, which is just more of a cover. And it comes in at a really reasonable, about 120 to 130 pounds in the UK. That's not a lot of money. I know it's laminate, but it's actually pretty nicely done, you know. Uh, there's not much I don't like about it. Yeah, the tuners, yeah, the neck's a bit narrow, and a bit of finishing flaws in it. But other than that, it's resonant, light as a feather, really, really nicely balanced. There's resonance absolutely everywhere. And what that resonance does is it comes through in absolutely terrific volume bear, bear with me you're gonna have to take my word i've got a microphone this is normalized it's going through youtube but this will wake the dead this is one of the loudest ukuleles i've played certainly one of the loudest lambs and for that volume and punch it's got a nice tone what it doesn't have and i, I just wish it had a bit more of was a bit more sustained it dies off quite quick, which makes it very staccato. Yeah, maybe that's maybe that's traditional, maybe if you like that kind of music. Very soprano in that sense, but it's a concert, you know? But I do like the jangly. That's pretty. it a little bit difficult to play up here because it is very very narrow you know I'm really having to squeeze the fingers in what I'd also say is the setup of the nut is absolutely fantastic on this I know setup can be adjusted but it's really high at the 12th that saddle needs to come down thankfully that's not a big job and a dealer will do this I bought this blind from a big box shipper so I just see what it's like out from the factory um, but I think you can tell the, the tone's nice I just want more sustain It gets a very recommended. There's a few little niggles with it. 130 quid, 120 quid even if you shop around. Uh, the Gretsch G9110 standard concert. Um, all laminate mahogany in a very, very traditional look. Considering these are made by a company that is owned by Fender. Fender really should be taking a look at what uh, that one of their own brands is doing. Because the, the Fender ukuleles do not have this resonance they do not have thin tops like this fair play Gretsch I really like that just give me some friction pegs on it but otherwise I'd, I'd happily own this back next week more coming soon ahead of Christmas are you getting a ukulele for Christmas I'm sure plenty of you are um, maybe some more ideas coming bye bye